breaking, Mueller gets horrible news, he deserves this. Due to special counsel Robert Mueller's association with the Uranium One scandal, many Republicans are questioning his ability to execute the Russia election meddling investigation in an unbiased manner. According to The Hill, Rep. Matt Geetz, RFL, stated, we are at risk of a coup d'état in this country if we allow an unaccountable person with no oversight to undermine the duly elected President of the United States. That is precisely what is happening right now with the indisputable conflicts of interest that are present with Mr. Mueller and others at the Department of Justice. He then continued with this firm call to action, I joined dot in calling for Mr. Mueller's resignation or his firing. The Conflicts of Interest Rep. Geetz is referring to have to do with how the Uranium One deal was allowed to proceed despite the mountain of evidence the FBI had showing that Russia was using criminal acts to ensure the deal was successful. Rather than notify the Obama administration of Russia's attempts to bribe and extort, the FBI sat on the evidence and allowed the deal to be made, effectively giving Russia control over 20 percent of the U.S. uranium supply. At the time Mr. Mueller was director of the FBI, which would have seen him directly involved in both the investigation that discovered Russia's criminal efforts and the decision to keep it quiet. According to Mr. Geetz, this fact alone makes it highly inappropriate for Mueller to currently investigate Russia's attempts at interfering in the 2016 election. These deeply troubling events took place when Mr. Mueller was the director of the FBI, Rep. Geetz said. As such, his impartiality is hopelessly compromised. He must step down immediately. Rep. Geetz's resolution has two allies in the House Freedom Caucus, Rep. Andy Briggs, Aras, and Louis Gohmert, RTX. In addition to calling for Mr. Mueller's dismissal, Rep. Geetz also called upon the Department of Justice to form a separate special counsel to investigate the Clinton Foundation, the Uranium One deal and the Fusion GPS dossier. Republicans are also concerned with the recent indictment against Paul Manafort that has very little to do with the investigation into how Russia interfered in the U.S. election. Mr. Manafort was accused of multiple counts of conspiracy against the U.S. and money laundering, all while working for a political party in the Ukraine. While that political party was pro-Russia. That's the only aspect of the charges remotely related to Russia and has nothing to do with Russia's attempts to manipulate the 2016 U.S. general election. Granted if Mr. Mueller had found evidence proving Mr. Manafort was guilty of an unrelated crime then it's understandable that anyone would have sought an indictment. What's concerning is that this is the only result of Mr. Mueller's investigation to date, and it has nothing to do with his charge task. Notwithstanding Mr. Mueller's apparent conflict of interest and bias, President Trump has expressed zero interest in firing Mr. Mueller. According to White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders, there is no intention to make any changes in regards to the special counsel. Mr. Mueller's involvement in keeping quiet about Russia's bribery and extortion call into question his ability to conduct an honest and truly independent investigation into Russia's most recent attempts at meddling with U.S. affairs. At worst, he's complicit with Russia and is unfit to serve as special counsel. At best, he's incompetent and needs to be replaced. If he remains vested in his investigatory role and comes to the conclusion that President Trump did not collude with Russia, Let's hope he doesn't do what he did before and keep quiet about it. About it.